Hey guys, good morning. Today we are making uh, dal and rice. So now I'm going to wait and we'll just soak it and leave it uh, whole day in the water so it can be easy to cook later. We put uh, one and a half. Uh, this is chana dal. Okay, this is the pink dal. I'll put one cup of pink dal together. Because I'm getting late, uh, my my house manager is gonna wash and soak it. Okay, bye. Eight hours later. Hi guys, good evening. Assalamu alaikum all. Welcome back again. So here it was around five. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with our cooking. I wash and then mix the lentils. And uh, I'm going to prepare cutting my onions. Um, washing what I have to wash before we really start with the with the cooking okay so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please give it immense thumbs up and um, yeah for those are new my name is zainab and thank you for joining and my uh, old subscriber thank you guys so much for returning and uh, i really really appreciate you guys so yeah So like I said earlier, we are having our lentils with rice and also I'm going to be showing you how I make uh, my basmat rice onion, with onion. This is not only boiled, it's going to be with onion and uh, cumin seeds. I'm going to show you guys on the last how I make my basmat rice as well. So this is three cups. I wash first and I soak it. Um, Yeah. You can soak it for 15 minutes 20 minutes um even 30 minutes it's not a problem so i'll just keep it aside until uh, i get chance or until i'm finished with what i'm gonna start with Okay guys, let's start with our cooking. So I'm making the sauce now for uh, our mixed lentils. I add oil in the pot. It's not the pot I'm gonna boil um, lentils. Here I'm just making sauce. We're going to transfer everything in the uh, pressure cooker. <clears throat> okay, so I add some oil, one onion which I sliced, I'm going to fry it until it's light golden. Once it's light golden, I'm going to add ginger and garlic paste and I'm going to fry for also one to two minutes 
and next i'm gonna add tomato which i did not uh, show you guys cutting it's one small uh and also i <clears throat> i peeled the tomato you have to peel the tomato um yeah so i add also one tablespoon of chili flakes i add one a uh, teaspoon of chili powder i add one uh, i mean like two to three small pieces of cinnamon sticks and i add three cardamom seed next i add uh, this dal masala about two tablespoons and i'm adding now a uh, turmeric powder and also i add some green chili uh, you have to fry all the spices before adding chicken okay so i fried for about three minutes and then i add the chicken we're going to fry the chicken also um for about 10 minutes and don't forget salt <laughs> i always forget salt okay so yeah i add um two teaspoon of salt and make sure you fry your chicken nicely take your time fry it fry it fry it um yeah Once the chicken is done, we're going to bring our pressure cooker. I'm going to transfer uh, the sauce, like I said earlier, into pressure cooker. And uh, yeah, I just add a little bit of water in that pot, which will make sauce because we're still a little bit of sauce left in the pot. So next thing you're adding your lentils. now we're going to mix it just to combine the sauce with lentils uh nicely before adding water so i add um six cups of water and now i'm going to cover my pressure cooker and cook the lentils until it's done even if you don't have a pressure cooker you can still use your normal pot um, for pressure cooker it took me about 15 minutes and uh, for normal pot I don't know how long it can take but um, it won't take long because we soak our dal before cooking so when you are using pressure cooker guys you have to be careful here i was showing you guys that after you remove the top thing you don't open your pressure cooker same time you, you have to leave it for steam to finish first before opening your pressure cooker it can be very very dangerous okay i have removed the, the chicken pieces and now i'm going to transfer the dal into another pot because the pressure cooker is too deep it will be difficult for me if i have to you know yeah <laughs> so i take uh, a normal pot i i pour some dal in it and i left some because i have to blend this dal and i don't want to be uh, i don't want the dal to be completely blended all so i i i left some dal i'm gonna add that after blending um yeah after blending the one i add in the pot i'm gonna add the the rest uh if that makes sense oh my god i'm just complicating myself <laughs> anyway so as you can see i'm blending i have added the chicken in the pot and i'm gonna blend it uh, everything together and after that i'm going to add the dal which is left in the same pot so at least can show still the pieces that's what i'm trying to say here i want still the pieces to show in my dal yeah so yeah guys and uh, next i'm gonna just add some water but adding water is optional if you want your dal to be thick like this you can leave it if you want a little bit watery you can go ahead and add some water like i did so yeah now i'm gonna just uh slow the flame and cover my pot and leave it on steam for about 10 minutes let's now prepare the rice so i'm going to fry uh like half of onion uh in this pot 
you just have to add a little bit of oil and uh, add onion in the rice we don't need too much onion um so half of onion it's fine okay i'm gonna fry it for two to three minutes and then i'm gonna add a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds and fry again for another uh one minute and then add water okay next we're gonna add water so it's three cups of rice we are making here and uh, the the cup which i'm using now is the same cup we use to measure the rice so we just have to double up the quantity of um the quantity of the rice with water okay so because it's uh, three cups of rice i soak it the water have to be uh six or seven cups okay so i'm gonna cover and wait for the pot to boil and once it's boiling i'm gonna come i'm gonna come back and add the rice the dal is ready as you can see so here i just add a little bit of black pepper which is completely uh, optional okay our pot is boiling guys let's add the rice uh so here i'm gonna just cover my pot and leave it to boil until the water is finished once the water is finished i'm gonna come back and just slow the flame and let it simmer and yeah our rice is gonna be done 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 guys the rice is done here i was just garnishing my dal with some fresh coriander and yeah we eat done thank you guys for watching this video if you did like please like subscribe and uh, comment down below what you guys think about this recipe and if you have any question just let me know in the comment section so it was cold at this day we had our lentils with rice and eggs as well so yeah thank you guys for watching once again and i will see you all in my next upload i love this bye